Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're lying down and you're comfortable and ready to relax and listen to a story. Everything is just right in your room. The lights, your pajamas are comfy, your bed's nice and warm. Everything's good to go. See if you can stay still. Close your eyes if you want to listen to the story with your eyes closed. Heidi, Cherry and Vea were discussing Cherry's gift. Her friend Kelly had bought a slime. Heidi said, let me have a go with that. What does it feel like? Cherry passed her the slime. Heidi emptied it into her paws and started to squeeze. Oh, it's nice, said Heidi. They said, me have a turn? What does it feel like? Cherry said, well, it kind of feels slimy because it's slime, but it also feels like play doh because you can squeeze it and change shapes with it and it also feels like a bit like that kinetic sand you know how you can make shapes with it and it's kind of a funny funny feeling in your fingers or in your paws or in your hooves or whatever it is that you happen to have that you feel things with uh, it's kind of like that Heidi passed it to Vea Vea played with it between her two front paws. She rubbed her nose on it. She squished it into her eyes and her eyebrows and her nose and her face. Me likes it. It feels very nice. Kind of cool, but relaxing and, and gooey and ooey and I like how it changes shape. Cherry said, that's the bestest part. It's, and you know, you know what it's supposed to do? It's supposed to be a bit like a stress ball. It's like, it chills you out and it relaxes you. And you can just sit and squish it in your paws uh, for hours and hours. And you don't have to do anything with it. And, and some of them smell really nice and some of them don't smell at all. But you know what I was thinking? Can you imagine this? Oh, wait, I have an idea. Lay down. Lay down and get comfortable. Heidi, lay down. Heidi lay down. Vea lay down. Cherry said, Listen, I have an idea. I'm going to tell you an imaginary story about a very special place that I just thought about that would be absolutely hunky-dory, fan-dabby-dozy amazing. And, and you have to imagine in your minds that it's going to be a real place. All right? It's real. So since you're using your imaginations, close your eyes because when you close your eyes, you can imagine pictures in your mind, in your inner eyeball. Like Corey says, I think it's a, like a, a third eye or or is it a fourth eye how many eyes do we have Heidi Heidi said it's your third eye your inner sight the sight that you use when you dream and when you when you're imagining things in your mind and you can see pictures that's it that's your third eye yeah said Cherry that's it that's what Corey always talks about anyway listen use your 30 shy and and close your eyes and and start to imagine that you just walked off an elevator can you imagine that and and when the doors open it's an whole different world and you find yourself outside and the first thing that you notice feel it feel it you feel slime on your paws slimy slime and it's cool and it feels squishy between your toes as if you're standing on like mushed up cucumbers or or like vanilla pudding that's been in the fridge so it feels really cold and you can feel it squishing between your claws and your paws and it feels delicious can you imagine that imagine that in your minds and then when you smell it it even smells like vanilla pudding but it's not you're not standing on vanilla 
and Nilla pudding. You're standing on slime. Because guess what? You're in slime world. Slime world is like the bestest world in the entire worlds of worlds. It's out there in the universe and only very special people get to go. Heidi and Vea looked at each other. It was going to be a good story. Heidi said, I'm ready to listen about everything and close my eyes and relax and maybe fall to sleep. Vea said, me too, me too. This is going to be a good one, Cherry. Cherry said, okay now, okay now. Close your eyes again. No more talking. Because you have to really, really relax to let your imagination start to go wild. Right, are you ready? Listen. Slime world. You look up at the sky and the sky's not normal. It's blue slime. You look at the grass. The grass is not normal. It's green slime. The trees. The trees are, are made out of kinetic sand. And if you push on them or lay on them, they fall down. Try it. Imagine you're walking over to a tree and you lean on it like you would lean on a normal tree. But it doesn't stay standing up. It kind of molds around you and then it falls down to the ground like kinetic sand would and it all falls into a pile. And then you lay on the pile and the pile of sand all smudges around you and it's really cosy and comfy. Can you feel it? Both the cats nodded at Cherry with their eyes closed. Right, and then there's a river up ahead, but the river's not normal. When you walk up to the river, it's not flowing like a river. It's jelly wobbling like jelly wobble would. You know, like jelly on a plate, like when you make jelly in a mould and you make it and then you shake it on your plate and it wibbles and it wobbles and it shakes all over. That's what the river's doing. And then you lay on the river and you don't sink into it at first. You just lay on it and then with your eyes closed, you start to feel yourself sinking into the river of jelly jelly. And then as you sink into the river of jelly jelly, you start to go deeper and deeper into a relaxed state. And the river is all swishy and wobbly and jelly underneath your body. So it feels like a big giant is shaking you on a plate of jello. Can you imagine that in your mind? You're laying on a plate on top of jello that's the colour blue that looks just like the river. And then a giant comes along. Jump! 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 But he's a friendly giant, don't worry. He's not going to eat you or anything. No, he's a nice giant that's come from the clouds. He's a giant that's made of big, giant, big, big, big giant play-doh clouds and the play-doh clouds have formed the shape of a giant with a big smiley face with blue eyes that look just like the river and then he starts to shake you on the plate like wibble wobble wibble wobble jelly on the plate and then Oh, you start to feel so relaxed. Your body's relaxed. Your bones are like jilly jolly, welly wobbly. All like jilly jolly, welly wobbly slime. Moving around on the slimy river. And it's so peaceful and quiet. And then you start to sink deeper into the river. And you go underneath the top of the river. And the slime seems to slime all around you and over you and under under you and by the sides of you and it's like a big giant slimy blanket all around you but don't worry you can breathe and then and then you notice that there's lots of little creatures underneath in the slimy river and there's slime creatures there's slimy octopuses there's slimy fishes there's slimy toads there's slimy tadpoles no not tadpoles tad tadpoles Tadpoles? No, what are... What? Anyway, baby fisher. No, not baby... <gasps> Wait a minute. Baby frogs. Yeah, tadpoles. Tad, tadpole. Not tadpoles. They're what you're playing. No, they're tadpoles. Oh, okay. This baby, 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 uh, frog, frogs. Baby frogs. And then there's baby, uh... 
baby elephants because yeah it's a very special place at slime world and everything underneath the pool of slime is slimy and then you start to be slimy too and you start to slime around and swibble wobble and wibble wobble like jelly on the plate underneath the river of slime and you slime your way over to a big slimy shark but the don't don't you worry because his teeth are made of play doh and if he bites you which he tries to do because that's what sharks do if he bites you then all his teeth kind of bend and change shape because he's so slimy and his teeth are made of slime well no they're made of play-doh and then his teeth just flatten out into flat play-doh like when you squish it into a ball and then you squish it on the table and it just squishes into a pile of play-doh that's what the shark's teeth do and you laugh to yourself just take a moment to laugh and smile to yourself and then while you smile you notice that here in Slime World, you felt very happy ever since you got off the elevator. And you can't help but feel happy inside. And and you take a big smile on your face. And you take that smile, like Cory says, and you smile on the inside. And you smile with your heart. And you smile with your intestines. That doesn't sound very nice. No, you just smile with your heart and you smile with your your tummy. And you know how you can make a smiley face with your belly roll sometimes? Yeah, you do that too. So your belly rolls are smiling and then and then and then and then you feel like your whole body is surrounded with slime in the slimy river in slime world and you're smiling and your smile is like slimy. Because you're slime and, and, and you feel so, so relaxed. And it's just like the bestest feeling in the world. And then you start to swim out of the slime river. And then, and then you walk onto the slimy grass that's very, very slimy. And you notice that your body feels like those trees. Because you notice all of a sudden that your body's made of collective not collective, connective sand. And, 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 and as you walk, your feet mold into the shapes of the pe pebbles and the grass and the, the, the dirt path that's all made of slime. Because slime world is all slimy. And then you start to feel so sleepy because your body kind of changes shape and it feels like it's melting on your bones and, and, and your muscles are melting off and every time you move your arms and you lift your arms up, your arms shape, shape changes and your legs shape changes and your entire body changes and then before you know it, you're just a pile, a pile of sand. Like a pile of Play-Doh. Like a pile of slime like just a pile of relaxed mush on the ground ready to go to sleep because it's so quiet and peaceful and slimy and you feel so happy inside in slime world and slime world is like the bestest world ever out there in the universe and like i said you have to be very 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 special to go to slime world because you have to have an imagination and if you don't have imaginations then you can't listen to this story because it won't work because my relaxation voice is very good but if you don't have an imagination and you can't imagine that right now you're laid on the ground like a pile of slime then it won't work you won't be relaxed at all but I know you Heidi and I know you Vaya. and like me you both have a very very good very 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 good imagination and you'll be asleep in no time at all you're sleepy you're so sleepy you're you're so sleepy that you just want to sleep and sleep and sleep here in slime world where it's the bestest bestest slime a bestest play-doh bestest bestest connective sand bestest uh, i can't think of anything else but it's all the bestest and oh yeah you're so sleepy so sleep 
Sleep. Go sleep. Go. <laughs> Cherry started to make fake snores as if she was sleeping too, just to encourage Heidi and Vea to completely relax. <laughs> didn't take too long before Cherry's snores actually turned into real snores and then Heidi started to snore and Vea started to snore. Everyone was snoring as they dreamed about Slime World. One of the bestest, bestest places, one of the bestest worlds out there in the universe. But you can only go if you use your imagination. <laughs>